Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Action Figure Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars 2013 Saga Legends Episode 2 Clone Trooper. Here's a look at the packaging. So this version of the Clone Trooper, of course, is based on the Phase 1 armor as seen in Attack of the Clones. Uh, as you can see, he's a very basic uh, Clone Trooper. You can see he's plain white, and uh, the sculpt on him is very nice. I'll give you a look at the different angles there. Proportionately, he's, uh, he's very nicely uh, done. Uh, not a whole lot of detail to him, but, you know, he's just a regular Clone Trooper. Any of the regular Phase 1 Clone Troopers didn't have a lot of detail other than, uh, you know, maybe various colors uh, for the different ranks. But, uh, you know, this one as a plane trooper does it, uh, you know, he looks really good, I think. Very simple, yet very effective. For comparison, let me grab you the super articulated Phase 1 Clone Trooper. That's the one from the uh, Clone Wars lineup back from 2003. And then we also have the Vintage Collection Clone Trooper from a couple years ago. Uh, between the three of them, uh, you know, I think that I like the Saga Legends one best. Now, that's not going by articulation, but, you know, strictly by uh, aesthetics, uh, I think the Saga Legends one overall uh, captures the look that the clones had in Episode 2. Uh, I've always loved the Clone Wars uh, super articulated Clone Trooper who was, you know, repacked uh, multiple times over. Um, you know, in the years uh, following his original release. Um, and uh, the vintage one, you know, I, I like that one too. The helmet's too big, but, um, you know, he's, and he's a little skinny, but, you know, I like him too, but I don't know. I, I just think that the, um, this new version looks a little bit more, it just looks a little more realistic to me. His proportions are a little more uh, human looking, you know. There's a look at the back sides of these guys for you. As you can see, uh, one thing that this new Saga Legends clone doesn't have is a little red dot on the back of his crest there on the helmet. Um, it's not a huge deal, but uh, you know it, it is a, it is a detail that is uh, missing. Give you a close up here of our new Saga Legends clone trooper. Very nicely sculpted helmet. Very nice paint job. Again, minimal detailing, but you know. The same could be said for the previous versions of the uh, Attack of the Clones clones. Yeah, this one is a little more simplistic. You know, he reminds me of the uh, the Saga Legend Stormtrooper we looked at um, not too long ago, in terms of uh, you know him capturing the essence of the character as seen on in the film. Uh, you know, without all the uh, fancy articulation, the likeness is is just great. I'm really enjoying. I really like the likeness uh, to this figure. He also has the pretty big, like, webbed, like, feet, which is, you know, like, probably the biggest drawback to him, like the other uh, prequel clone figures that we've gotten from the from this revamped uh, lineup of Saga Legends and Mission Series figures. In the way of articulation, we have a swivel here at the helmet, we have swivels at the arms, and then we have swivels at the hips. If we had a vehicle to put him in, which I have plenty, but I don't have one handy, um, I think he would uh, he would sit in most of them quite easily, so long as they don't require uh, knee articulation. I don't think most of them do. So there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars 2013 Saga Legends Episode 2 Clone Trooper. Once again, I really like this figure. Aesthetically speaking, I think he is the best Hasbro Episode 2 Clone Trooper that they've put out. Um, but of course, he's lacking all the, the articulation if they could take all the articulation from the vintage clone and somehow incorporate it seamlessly to uh, into this figure, he'd be way more awesome. But uh, as he stands, you know, I really like him. And I wouldn't mind possibly getting a couple more of these to have on hand. Thanks for watching Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye.